Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So tonight I'm going to be sharing with you a relaxing and motivating clean with me and organizing and decluttering. I chose to do this at night because I do have a little one. He is only 15 months old, so finding time during the day to be able to take on a task like this is a little bit scary. I mean, it probably could have done it, but I it wasn't a guarantee where after he goes to bed, I have a guaranteed amount of time. So that's why I chose to do it at night. It did take me two nights to, because it is a huge task. Cleaning and organizing your kitchen is a definite huge task. Don't feel like you have to do it all in one day or all in one night. If you have to do it in three nights, four nights, whatever you need to do, do that. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing by clicking that button down below to join me for future videos to come. So I wanted to start off this cleaning and decluttering by emptying out the top cabinets and then I moved on to the bottom cabinets and drawers. I just wanted to be able to pull things out and kind of sort through them and then also wipe down the cabinets and drawers. Please excuse the pajamas that I'm wearing, but since I was doing this late at night, I wanted to be cozy and comfy. So a long time ago, well maybe like five or six years ago, I actually was a barista. I was a barista for a few years at two different coffee shops. My husband is a huge fan of coffee and we have all sorts of different types of coffee makers and cups and all that. I maybe pulled out like three or four mugs that we weren't using because we, we do go through a lot of this or use a lot of this. So that's why we have such a large cabinet for everything. I felt like this cabinet we don't use very often. Um, a lot of the stuff in here is more like collectible type things just from the different Air Force bases that we've been to throughout our life. Um, so I just pulled a few things out of there that I really didn't feel like I needed anymore and just kind of rearranged. Then I moved on to this cabinet. This is one of our very highly used cabinets. Um, so I just put the less used items on the top shelf reorganize the second shelf where all of Grayson's stuff is at, and then reorganize the bottom shelf, which is all of our most used glassware. I really do love this cabinet because there is so much room but the top shelves are really hard to reach and there's a lot of stuff again in here that I don't use very often. It's just for those like weird little times like ice cube trays I use for if I'm freezing iced coffee or something and or like I have my kitchen aid accessories in here. So I kind of push the things to the back that I don't use very often and tried to bring forward the stuff that I wanted to use more often like our blender. And this shelf or this cabinet, I really didn't feel like looked bad and it felt really organized, so I just kind of left it the same. So I realized I had to organize this off camera, but I'm gonna show you what I did. 
So to kind of save and like use this vertical space, I used the containers with lids. And this whole top section is like topical stuff. I have like all kinds of band-aids. I think band-aids last us for years to come. And then any like creams, aloe, antifungal oil, all kinds of stuff. And then just other topical things. Anything that goes on top of the skin, wraps, like stuff like that. Excuse the whiny baby. And then on the second, on the second shelf, I have everything for Grayson. And I will show you what I have in here. So using these containers with the lids has saved a ton of space. So in this container, I put everything that is his medicine. It's perfectly in here. This is our travel first aid kit. There's a few things in here, but usually I have to add stuff to it, like his note trade or Tylenol for traveling. And then these little containers just have no suckers, just extra ones, and a little, that little um, medicine dispenser thing. He isn't the best at taking medicine anymore. And then all of these other little medicine dispensers. So all the ones that come with the medications. And then this little guy, I don't know if you guys ever used one of these, but the Metafrida. I was skeptical at first, but he actually takes it much better. It really would only work if you have a baby that uses a pacifier. So that is the second cabinet, or second shelf. And the bottom shelf is like frequent stuff that we use, me and my husband, Tylenol, Advil, Big Advil. This was actually for Grayson, but. Um, and then these ones are other pills and stuff that are we don't use as often, things like maybe a soul softener, or Benadryl, things like that. And then I just have the nasal sprays to the side. So, like I said, a lot of this, the having the lids on the containers has saved me a ton because I could still fit like a whole nother row. I wouldn't want to do that, but I could. And then over on this side, I still have all of the stuff for his nebulizer up there just in case he gets sick. And this one's like kind of like cold and flu related. NyQuil, DayQuil. There's some like TheraFlu, cough drops, and then vitamins. This one does have Prilosec, but I guess I could put that in my not so used pile, but there's room in here. But vitamins, my husband's vitamins would normally go in here too. And those are those medicine shelves.